I finally moved back home. And I'm so happy because I can actually read all the books that I want, and I am so excited because I have two months off before work starts, and therefore two months of just straight reading. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my April wrap-up. I read a total of two books this month because exams. And just my heart is so happy. I was literally the first exam to the last exam time slot, so people were done like two to three weeks ago, and I had to go literally all of April, and it was a struggle, but it's finally over. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> The first book that I read this month was Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick and this follows Leonard Peacock and it is his birthday and he just wants someone to acknowledge that it is his birthday so he decides that he's going to go to school with his grandfather's P-38 pistol and his plan is to kill himself and his former best friend but he decides that he's going to give four presents to four people that he interacts with on a regular basis. Over the course of the day, Leonard's motives for the murder-suicide become clear and you kind of get the full story and picture. I ended up giving the book a 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it, but at times Leonard really made me angry and I wanted to like punch him in the face for the things that he did. And obviously nobody wants to go through what he had to go through and it was heartbreaking. But the way he treated the people who interacted with him, and women especially, and Lauren, who's one of the characters, it just irritated me so much. He was so condescending and full of himself, and I'm sure it was like a coping mechanism, but like I wanted to hit him so hard. Although I didn't particularly like Leonard, the book did have me hooked right from the beginning. I listened to it on audiobook, so that might have been... A reason why I liked it even more. I don't know who knows. The second book that I read this month was for a booktube tour over on Gracie's channel at Loving Them Books. I'll leave her link down below in the booktube book tour group thing if you guys want to sign up for the next one. They're super fun. I really enjoyed it. But the book is Dream House by Marzia Bizognin. I'm probably still saying that wrong, but you know what? It's a hard name, okay? But I have a review of this book if you want to know my full thoughts on it. I will leave it linked up there. Check it out if you're interested. I ended up giving this book a 2 out of 5 stars. I had my problems with it. If you want to know what they were, click the linky linky and you can find out what they were. Alright guys, so that was my two books that I read in the month of April. May is going to be so much better because I can actually read anytime I want and I'm so excited about it. I'll have my May TBR up sometime. Who knows when because your girl needs to veg and do nothing for a while, so when it's up, it's up. Okay. I will see all of you beautiful people in my next video. Goodbye. Forgive me. Wait, what is it called? Hi, mommy. Are you like, yeah, yeah, let's go. Uh-huh. She's ignoring me.